Hi, hello and welcome. The word data analytics underscore that we are dealing with data. Data is the key element of any analytics project. The quality of the data, the accuracy of the data, the completeness of the data will drive the accuracy of the intelligence and that will drive the quality of the decision making that will happen based on the data, based on the analysis that we do. Hence, creating the trustworthy data source, the trusted data source is very, very key for any analytics project. Now to do that, what we do is we create a database called as a data warehouse. Now we have heard the word warehouse uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the store in manufacturing companies. What is it? It is just not a dump. It is an organized uh, place where each and every material has got its row and a shell predefined so that when the data when the uh, uh, material is stored and the storekeeper has to retrieve it it is very easy for them to go and retrieve that without causing any problem without causing any delays the material is available as and when required on demand that's exactly what data warehouse is it is the storage of the data in such a way that whenever the re requirement is there we can easily retrieve that data and produce the analysis from that data now how do we do this the data warehouse needs to be created because the data that we require is scattered all over the place the data can be in multiple databases the data can be in the excel sheets the data can be coming from the external data sources such as XML files, JSON files, uh, uh, CSV files and what have you. We need a mechanism that will bring all this data in one place. Clean the data, process the data. If there are any missing elements, then identify those missing elements, write the necessary procedures to complete the data which is missing. All this is done by what we call as ETL or extract, transform and load operation. So extract, transform and load operation will extract the data from multiple data sources. It will do the transformations. The transformation that we are talking about over here are A, identifying any discrepancies and fixing them. B, making sure that the data is accurate. The integrity of the data is maintained. And also do some additional processing such as generate the fields, generate the KPIs from this data, generate the aggregations that you require to present on the data visualization uh, screens. All that is done as a transform. And then after the transformation of the data, we load it in the database that we call as a data warehouse. So as you can see, the ETL is the technology or the methodology that will ensure that you have got a golden data source or a trusted data source based on all the data that you have in your organization from any source, from any department, from any type of transactions. The sources could be internal, the sources could be external, the sources could be on your server, the sources could be coming from some website uh, of your customer, of your supplier or, or any other agency, maybe government agency. All that can be brought together by using ETL methodology. So that's why ETL is one of the very, very key components when you are working on any data analysis project. I hope you found this video useful. Do subscribe to our channel and watch other videos to gain more insights. Thank you.